okay guys so uh, once we are done with uh, updating the dns of our domain name the next thing which we should do is to go to one website called dns checker which we have already checked last time okay dns checker.org you just have to go to this website and write the uh, bookers write the name of the domain here dot pk enter and hit enter sorry i think uh, i have uh, used the domain name i have used single uh, p in the domain name okay and now i am able to see uh, the ip address of the domain name here all in all the uh, areas in all the locations the domain name or the ip address has been set up so now if i go to this cpanel dot webotf dot in okay let me reload it once again and i will do one thing i will just uh, use the light mode okay and now i am able to see the file manager and mysql management and if i go to file manager and then under public underscore html i can see one file called index.html double click on it and i am able to see something okay so what i will do i will simply uh, type the name of the domain here dot pk and let's check whether we can see the domain or not and we can see the domain name okay our domain is up and running so the next step will be to delete all the files from public underscore html just select all and click on remove all done now i have to go to my gem and then just a minute so that i can open the gem Mm -hmm. I have to wait for some time again. Okay. Okay. So I can see the I can see jump here. Okay, let me minimize it. I don't know why it's not opening again. Okay, okay. Now I can see all the servers are up and running. So let me go to welcome and then click on open application folder and go to htdocs. And I think the name of the folder which we were using since it's a bit long time since I last touched this website. Flutter PHP. Let me open. Let me open the website here, the local host or the local website here, localhost slash flutter dash php. Enter. Yeah. So this is the website, and now we have to host this website on our live domain name. So what I will do, I will simply select all and compress all the files and folders so this is the archive.zip file now i will go to this browser and we have already opened bookers.tk file manager here now i will simply drag and drop this folder not this folder this zip file in this file manager okay so that's all and now i can see the file is being uploaded we have to wait for some time till the upload gets completed so the upload is complete now and then i will click on extract and extract i can see all the files and folders here and now we have to go to the database.php file and we have to link the database with our online server okay for that i will have to go to mysql management and create a new database called bookers So the name of the database is boopers and the database username is also boopers and i can generate one new password here let me check the password so this is the pa let me create one new password okay so so let me use this password and paste it here 
in the password field again okay so now let me click on create database i can see the name of the database here so the username will be boopers underscore boopers and the name of the database will also be boopers underscore boopers save file i will go to this uh, panel again okay and then search php my admin like we did with localhost and you can see one ssl error message don't no need to worry you, you just have to click on advance and proceed to cpanel.in so this is just a warning from ssl certificate i think there is some misconfiguration with the ssl in this portal so let me paste the username of the database here and let me copy the password of the database and paste it here that's all and now i am able to check that the database which we have created is being displayed in the left hand side of this php my admin we just have to click here okay and we have to import the database from our local host so let me open localhost slash php my admin and export the database php my admin hit enter and now i have to export the database and the name of the database is flutter php so this is the database which only have one table okay and now we will have to export this database click on go so this is the exported database which is about 3046 bytes i will again click on this tab which is online php my admin and drag and drop this file here the file upload is being completed and thus we can see the success message here let me click on structure go to users and check the name of the user name of all the users and now let me uh, copy any username so let me copy this username and open boopers.tk our offline project is now being migrated to online server and let me use this username and password as 123 i think 123 is the correct password but unfortunately we have to use the email id in this case and login all right so now i can see that i am being able to upload my offline offline project to online and now i am being able to log into this project so let me click on log out button once again and here we have to wait for five seconds it's a redirection and now let us create a one new account the name of the username is like i can see various cars in front of my window so hyundai okay and the username is something like hyundai at the rate we bought app dot com mobile number is something like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and password is one two three four and one two two three four and let me copy the username and register now since your password since the project is now uh, migrated to online server so google chrome is now giving you some security warnings that the password that you just read you just uh, used was found in a data breach google password manager recommends sending your password now okay so we will ignore this message as this is just a test project one two three four and click on login now and now i can see the and the website in my screen in the next step we will have to add the product section we have already designed the product section in our project now we have to make it dynamic okay so that all the information of this product page is being stored on this database we have to create a new table for this product and once this step gets completed we have to uh, create the orders page as well so that if someone makes an order through our mobile app we can so that we can able to see that information of this order in this panel okay guys so in the next video we'll be working on the product page on this website on this live server 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर फर्दर अपडेट्स